So early on in my personal development career, like when I was trying to actually improve myself, I used to go to all these events. And the thing that frustrated me the most was that people would only talk about money. And I get that a lot of people are struggling with money, maybe most people. I certainly want more money. But I hated the fact that that's all people talked about. And that was the only way they apparently defined success. You know, like if you went to an entrepreneur, they'd be like, how much money does your business make? The first thing they want to know about the whole person's life is how much money. And I think this is an absolutely fatal flaw and one that makes people miserable for a lifetime. Now in this video, I want to share what I think is my own personal definition of success and why you need to figure out what that really looks like for you. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, before we go on, I've actually included the free one-page goal-setting worksheet and a beginner goal-setting email course. It's the very first link right in the description box there below. You'll be sent a one-page sheet to fill out with your goals, your vision, and your daily habits. And again, you can download it right there. Click that link, sign up for the email list, you'll get it all right there. You know, at this stage in my life, my definition of success is actually pretty similar to what it was five or ten years ago. Because to me, I always wanted to set what I thought was a conscious process of goal setting. So for me, at this stage of my life, success is, first of all, enjoyment. Because for me, I saw all these people that were successful, financially successful, successful in a lot of different domains of life. But a lot of them did not do work that they cared about. And that, to me, seemed like it produced less peace of mind more than almost anything. Because they spent 9, 10, 12 hours a day doing work that didn't jack them up, right? They weren't jazzed about it. They weren't excited. They were like, eh, you know, it's a job. So for me, success has to first and foremost be how I feel on a daily basis. The second thing for me is fulfillment. Now, for me, fulfillment is the reason why I chose to build my business around an audience. Like for me, getting comments from you, getting emails, getting DMs, reading my books and sending me emails and messages about how they've changed your life... That's literally what I live for. You know, like Gary Vee says, like, that's my oxygen. That's what I've always been into more than like material success. And so for me, it has to be some aspect of fulfillment and seeing that my work is having an effect on people. The third thing for me is the luxury of time. And I didn't think about this until very recently in my life. But I thought how for me being successful means I don't have to rush because I'm overbooked or because I'm overscheduled. The luxury of time means if I want, I can take today off and I can go sit in a coffee shop and read a book. It means today if I want, I can take the day off and go hang out with a friend or my girlfriend or my parents or whatever it is. The luxury of being able to have lots of time to actually live life is my third or fourth definition of success. And then only after that does the material stuff come. The ability to have tons of money to retire my parents so they don't have to work so hard to help out my siblings so that I can live in a nice apartment because for most of my adult life, I haven't lived in apartments I really liked. I got cheap ones so that I could build my business. The luxury of being able to live in a place with a beautiful view or having the prime real estate location in a city or a suburb or the ability to have enough money to take three vacations per year and go to a new country or go on a wolf tracking expedition or go to some remote village in Africa to do charity work or to go to Haiti and look at like the Haitian zombies and like what you know explore this kind of mythology and all of these medical things just the ability to be free to do all the things I've ever wanted to do that to me is the main value of having tons of money which absolutely is part of my definition of success but for me it is all of these different pieces and all of those have to be a necessity but I think there's a big mistake people make and it's that they put their ladder up against the wrong wall as the saying goes so the second thing that's really important here is for you to figure out how you define success. And I really want to challenge you not to just describe it or articulate it as an external thing. That was me before I realized, wow, you know, I didn't include how I actually want to feel on a daily basis, which is no surprise. I became the beginning stages of successful, but I didn't feel good because I was building a business that more than half the time I didn't like. I was overworking 70 hours a week or more for five years. And I missed all these other pieces about feeling good. And even though I liked my work, I forgot to say, you know, plenty of free time, inner peace and calm. You know what I mean? All these other inner things. 
And the danger is, as the saying goes, I don't know if it was John Maxwell or whoever, Stephen Covey, people spend their whole lives pursuing success, like climbing the ladder. Then they get to the top and realize they'd set the ladder up against the wrong wall or they climbed the entirely wrong ladder. You know, it's the person who becomes the physician instead of the artist or instead of the monk, instead of the painter, instead of the musician, because they want the prestige and the fame and the, I made mommy and daddy so proud of me. And yet, behind the scenes, you don't know they're an alcoholic, they have an eating disorder, they're a drug addict. I mean, doctors have almost twice the rates of addiction as the normal populace. And they can write themselves their own scripts to self-medicate with pharmaceuticals. They have some of the highest rates of depression and suicide of any profession. And yet they themselves are the healers. And so it's this idea of you gain the whole world and you've traded or you've lost your soul, as the Bible says. And so many people do that with the way they pursue success. Because it is not their own definition they've chosen. It's somebody else's. It's society's. And they get lost because they get everything externally. And they don't understand why they could feel so empty internally. So I want to challenge you here to figure out what you really want. Now again, a resource that might help you is that free goal setting sheet. And I want to challenge you to put not only the external, but the internal of how you want to feel. That's so key. Because you could be successful at a lot of things, but you may hate your life. You may be working too many hours. You may affect your health. You may wreck your relationships. Write down all the internal and the external aspects of success. So go click that link to the goal setting worksheet. It'll be a one page printout. You can do it on your computer. You could print it off. And it'll also provide a series of weekly emails to help you work on setting goals and pursuing this unique path to success. And again, you can check out my last two videos that have come out right there and right there.